I'm not really going to talk about the specs of the bike because you can actually find all of that in our on their website. I do want to go back and talk about how this journey started out. I've always wanted to do bike packing trips after seeing all these super fun adventures that I've seen on YouTube. So I've always had in the back of my mind that this was going to happen. I just didn't realize how quickly it was going to come. I've been scouring the internet for possible gravel bikes within our budget. As you know, Jason and I do ride together and it would be very difficult for me to go on a bike packing trip without him. So it was natural for us to both get new gravel bikes. In fact, it's how we're going to be spending our summer vacation together. As you know, we've had great results with our Canyon Ultimate that we purchased about two, two and a half years ago. Therefore, we looked into the Grizzle models, but saddened to see that they were actually out of stock and they kept pushing the dates back to when they would be available. Uh, I like the GRX 800 group set, the mechanical group set on the Grizzle. I also like that they had multiple ways that you can mount bottles, uh, frame packs, and other things that you would nest, you would take with you on a bike packing trip. However, two years into riding with mechanical group set on our road bike, which we have the Ultegra R8000, we were plagued with poor shifting. I know poor shifting is purely just for just wear and tear on the bike. I have replaced the cables on both bikes and the shifting is fine now, except that it did take me a long time to replace the cables because they were internally routed. So then I thought maybe servicing an electronic group set would probably be easier because you don't have to snake all these cables into the, uh, into the frame. So that's where I stumbled upon Lauf bikes. Um, to be honest, we've, we've, I've looked through a number of other gravel bikes out there. What I like to do is I look to see how much it costs, um, what the components are. I looked at the geometry and the Lauf bike was actually, was something that kind of stood out to me. Um, it was also great that they had great customer service. Every time I logged on their website, I get this little pop-up on the bottom right-hand corner, say, hey, welcome back. Uh, do you have any questions? And I actually got to talk to Ashton Lambie at one point and asked him several questions. When I say several, I mean, I, I thought about it and I would go back on and I would ask my questions and then I would log off and log back on again. Uh, and ask them questions. So he was, he's been kind of the person that my go-to person to answer my questions about purchasing a potential gravel bike. Lauf has two models, which is the, one is a True Grit and one is the Anywhere. The True Grit is purely gravel. Um, it has this leaf spring suspension on the fork. It helps to absorb the vibrations on gravel. Whereas the Anywhere bike uses the same frame as the True Grit minus the suspension fork. We went with the Anywhere because here in Connecticut, we don't have pure gravel roads. We do have a couple of miles of stretch of gravel, but it's not many miles on end of pure gravel. So we have a combination of paved roads and gravel and dirt. That's why we went ahead and purchased the Luff Anywhere for that reason. The Lauf Anywhere comes in different builds and we went with the uh, one that was equipped with a one by setup, rival ETAP electronic group set and uh, could not be happier with it. We've actually done a number of rides already with it. We've taken it out on mountain bike trails. We've taken it out on pure gravel roads with snow, ice and potholes. And we've also ridden it on paved roads along with paved climbs. So I am excited to show you guys that experience in the next video. Until next time, don't forget to enjoy your rides. Bye-bye.